welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing another speed paint and this time it's going to be all gouache and no mixed media. Usually I use some pencil and Neocolor pastels to add a bit of texture onto my paintings but today I thought I'd challenge myself a little bit and just use gouache. So I've not painted in quite a while, um, last week's speed paint was using some old footage from last year so I think it's actually been a good 2-3 months since I actually did a painting um, when I was trying to fill up my sketchbook which I need to do a sketchbook tour of but it's been a while just because life's been busy, we've been busy painting actual walls of our house and I haven't carved out any time to work on my art so I was really excited to make some time for this yesterday and it was nice to just relax I totally zone out when I'm painting so I didn't have any videos on in the background or music and I just lost myself for an hour and created this flower study. I'll pop the reference for the image down below, it's from a new site I've been using for royalty free images so I'll be sure to link that. And I just picked this simple floral image. I had in mind that I really wanted it to be quite loose. Usually I go into quite a lot of detail for my paintings but I wanted this to be a little bit different so I used a flat headed brush so I could really get those simple marks and try and use them to block out the shapes of the like background colours, so all the greens and it was a little bit fiddly for some of the so like the flower stamens so I did use a different brush for the final details but I really like how this one came out so you can see here I'm just mixing up some colours using blues and yellows and I'm using Winsor & Newton gouache paint which is my go-to a lot of the tubes I've got are actually from eBay, which I bought second hand. Sometimes it's hit and miss whether they're going to be dried up or not. And I do find that mine do dry up quite quickly. And sometimes it's hard to get the lid off because they all get stuck. But they have lasted me for ages and I always end up squeezing out too much paint onto my palette, which is why I use this tear off palette, which means I can just re-wet it again and again. So I don't ever waste the paint, I'll just come back to it next time. A lot of the paintings I do always have the same sort of colour palette. Usually I do landscapes, so it would be green and blues anyway. And I just really like how with gouache you can just re-wet it. So I've slowed down some of the clips just to show some of the details that I'm doing. It took me about an hour all in for this uh, quick study, so I'm really pleased with that. I think it came together really nicely. The final result is a little bit flatter than I'd have liked um, and I don't think that's just because I haven't got the texture on it. I'm not sure if it's just the types of green I'm using but I would have liked a bit more depth um, but overall I think it's a nice practice for me in the style if I want to do some more of it in the future which I think I do. I think this would work really well in a sketchbook. I've always used portrait sketchbooks and this kind of makes me want to um, get a landscape one. So I think I might try and make one uh, when I find some more time. Which actually leads me into my big news. So I mentioned this in last week's video that I have some exciting news to share. And that is that I am going full time freelance. I've been working freelance um, as well as a full time job since I graduated in 2012. So I've always juggled freelance in between my full time job at the weekends and in the evenings. But now I'm taking the leap and I'm going to have a lot more time to work on my creative projects and on client work. So I'm hoping to put a bit more time into this channel. Obviously I'm going to prioritise my client work and build that up, but I would really like to work harder on my videos and create really useful content to you guys. I feel like I've struggled to create the videos that I really want to make because I am limited by time and I've always just tried to do it on the weekends and so I'm going to stick to one video a week just because of all the plans I've got in my freelance design work but hopefully the content will be a lot more useful. I'm thinking maybe tutorials or um, longer vlogs. I really want to start sharing like more freelance stuff so maybe a series called Freelance Diaries where I really go into depth. Um, I've always been very honest in my journey and so if there's anything that you want to see 
um, or any specific videos because I'm going to have a bit more time to make them then let me know down in the comments because I'd love to hear your thoughts and yeah I really want to make better content for you guys I feel like it's not quite up to scratch sometimes what I want to do it's always last minute and I'm proud of creating a video every week but I'm really excited to make different content and really push the limits of my creativity. Back to the painting for now, you can see I'm just going in with a bit of darker green, just again because I did feel like it was lacking depth at this stage so I think this definitely helped and it really brought the flowers to the forefront of the picture. You might have noticed I also used a calligraphy brush because I've seen uh, an artist use that recently but I don't think mine's good enough quality so I did just revert back to the thinner brushes and I'm just adding in extra details here. And I hope you enjoyed watching this process. I also hope you're as excited as I am about my news about going freelance. I'm still at my full time job until middle of May but after that I'm planning on doing three days a week on client work, one day a week on marketing and one day a week for creative projects like this and possibly going live on Instagram and sharing my artwork there as well. I'm really excited to start making better content for my channel. If you have any ideas then please leave them down below and thank you so much for your support. All the likes and comments and subscribes have really helped me feel motivated to post once a week and I'm really excited to see where this channel can take me now I've got a bit more time. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next week with another video. See you later!